Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the OCZAD DDR Booster Diagnostic Device. What's included in this package is the power cable adapter with color-coded 4-pin connectors, the OCZAD DDR Booster Diagnostic Device Module, and the installation guide. This product is essentially a memory voltage modification, but with no soldering, cutting, or that type of thing. It draws extra power from the power supply and sends that power directly to the memory slots. This allows more voltage to be sent to the memory than otherwise possible. More voltage, of course, means that the memory can be pushed to the extreme and therefore will assist in overclocking. Now, the maximum voltage is really dependent upon the motherboard used. However, it can go to 4 volts or more, which is dangerously high and not recommended. When going beyond 3.3 volts, it is important to have active cooling on the memory because, of course, at that voltage, the memory is going to get very hot. Also remember to check the online motherboard compatibility chart before purchasing this product. Now let's have a closer look at the module. Well, right here is an LED. This shows the voltage. Here is where those color-coded 4-pin connectors get connected. You can see they're color-coded, so it's very easy to connect those. Also, right here is an adjustable knob. Turn it clockwise to increase the voltage and counterclockwise to decrease the voltage. Now let me show you how this is installed. Before installing this, you want to turn off your computer system. I would recommend shutting down the power supply. Next, you'll need to disconnect the power supply lead, the 20 pin, from the motherboard and then use the included power cable adapter. Now, this power cable adapter has two ends, a 20 pin male and a female end. The male end would go right into the motherboard and the female end would be connected to the power supply. So the lead that went from the power supply into the motherboard now will go through this included adapter. So coming from the power supply's 20 pin male lead into the included 20 pin female then proceeding to go into the motherboard. With the memory and the module installed, next go ahead and connect the color-coded 4-pin connectors. When the system is first turned on, it will take a second or two for the module to read the correct memory voltage. Then, of course, you can adjust the memory voltage to where you wish to have it. If you're into overclocking, you will definitely want to have one of these to get the maximum you can out of your memory. It's a very unique product that works very well. But again, be sure to check the online motherboard compatibility chart first before purchasing. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on this product in the forums. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please help support 3dgameman.com. Until the next time, take care.